Um, you know, the fact is, do you also admit somewhere down the line that what you're actually witnessing is now a complete farce? Because uh, Shashi Tharoor, sir, might be admitting uh, it in public very clearly now, and in his exact words, can't you see it? The level playing field is far from level. मुझे लगता है कि अभी जो शशि थ्रूर का की सोच है उसमें कुछ सच्चाई नजर आती है क्योंकि अगर चोरी छिपे कहा जाएगा के खारगे जी उम्मीदवार हैं तो एक जाति हो रही है फिर तो कांग्रेस पार्टी को रिवाइटलाइजेशन या फर्दर डेमोक्रेटाइजेशन की जो पहल है कोशिश है उसमें बाधा पड़ जाएगा मेरी नजर में इस जब इस इलेक्शन को बहुत ही साफ पाक और ट्रांसपेरेंट होना चाहिए अब इसमें जो कैंडिडेट अभी शशि थरूर जी हैं उनको महसूस हो रहा है कि चोरी छिपे कुछ किया जा रहा है अब कांग्रेस के कुछ नेता जो हैं वो कहे उन, उनके बारे में शहादत भी है कि वो खरगे साहब को असल उम्मीदवार बताते हैं तो इससे पार्टी में रखना पड़ जाएगा वो अमन सुकून से शांति से जो इलेक्शन होता है वो नहीं होगा वो दिमागों में परेशानी होगी इसकी क्या जरूरत थी तो मैं उन लोगों में शामिल हूं जो ये चाहते हैं कि कांग्रेस पार्टी का जो इंस्टीट्यूशन है डेमोक्रेसी का पार्टी के अंदर डेमोक्रेसी हो और ट्रांसपेरेंट हो उसी से कांग्रेस पार्टी बहुत मजबूत होगी अगर हम चोरी छुपे कुछ करेंगे और कुछ ऐसे नेता भी दिल्ली में हैं जो अपने आप को जैसे खड़पंच होते हैं कि मतलब जोर जबरदस्ती वो अपना अपनी लीडरशिप चमकाते हैं जी मेरे दिल में विश्वास है कि सोनिया जी और राहुल जी ने अपना पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू क्लियर कर दिया है दे आर नॉट इसी गिविंग हिंट आर दे आर नॉट जी इसी सिटीलिटली पार्टिसिपेटिंग टेलिंग पीपल टू वोट दिस वे दैट विल बी डूइंग काजिंग हार्म टू कांग्रेस पार्टी और इट बी ए फ्रैंक ओपन कंटेस्ट बट Right, sir. I'll bring in Rajdeep Sardesai and our other two guests as well, because that's exactly what's not happening right now in the Congress Party. Because Rajdeep Sardesai, uh, you've interviewed both uh, Mr. Tharoor and Mr. Kharge. Mr. Tharoor might be going all out speaking in Hindi, but ultimately today he's also accepted in a press conference that uh, the field is far from level. Look, uh, you know, it was one of the worst kept secrets that. Uh, this was never really a level playing field from the moment that Malikarjun Kharge's name came up at the very last moment and the manner in which senior Congress leaders cutting across uh, their uh, internal divisions uh, all supported him. It was clear that he enjoyed uh, the support of the so-called party high command and although the Gandhis have uh, stayed away from getting involved directly in this election, uh, those close to them have been uh, involved in some way or the other. The fact is that delegates have been rung up. They have been told to, to support Mr. Kharge. Mr. Kharge has virtually the official media of the Congress fully backing him. And uh, Mr. Tharoor has found it difficult to reach out to senior leaders in particular. They've been, many of them have been reluctant to be seen publicly with him. And this is not new. In 1999, when Sonia Gandhi fought Jitendra Prasad, or Jitendra Prasad fought Sonia Gandhi, Jitendra Prasad went to certain Congress offices that were virtually locked out for him. And eventually, Sonia Gandhi won 99% of the vote. Now, Mr. Tharoor will be hoping on a better performance, but the truth of the matter is, there is a section of the Congress which is trying to ensure that Mr. Kharge wins by as big a majority as possible in a way to suggest, therefore, that the Congress is fully behind him now. As a result, therefore, Mr. Tharoor uh, could question whether this is a level playing field, but to be honest, he went into this knowing this was going to happen. He knew he was the outsider, and if he really thought this was going to be a free, fair, and transparent election, then I'm afraid uh, Mr. Tharoor uh, was living in, uh, you know, in la-la land.